Hi friends and welcome to the Aries weekly message and I hope all of you are well. Thank you for tuning in. So let's go ahead and get a clear and concise message here for the first house. And if you have a birthday this week, happy birthday. I was going to say congratulations, but that's a little weird. <laughs> congratulations. You made it through. So let's see Aries weekly. What do they need to see or acknowledge? Show us a clear message for Aries weekly. Wow. Uh, you're listening to a lot of information. There's a lot of information coming to you here. Um, no immediate solutions. Uh, it's like you have a lot to consider. Somebody isn't so nice here and you don't really know why. Maybe you're asking yourself, well, why? Like this five of swords in, in the cross to you is like somebody who, um, they've got a lot of issues. Like this is somebody who feels entitled to be this way. They feel like it's your fault or they feel like they have a right to be this way. And it just kind of like makes you start to question like why? There's a death in the situation. So there's a, a closing out of a cycle. Um, what's going on here? Okay, other people are involved in this situation here. It has to do with the way somebody feels. The Hierophant comes in. There could be something about decisions made by a higher authority, a school, um, a court, it is, you know, oh, so now it makes sense. You could be like in a courtroom or in a lawsuit or something where someone feels like you're the reason. And so it's like, I wish I had a gavel. I could be like, no, the decision is for the Aries this week because you have a two of cups. Like the Hierophant and the two of cups, this is like, it's on your side. They're on your side. They're, they have your back. Um, the universe or the company, whatever, has your back. And it's case closed, you know. Um, all right. Wow. Oh, you're going to be so happy this week, Aries. Look at this, Nine of Cups. Okay. So, uh, you are coming into an energy here where... I honestly feel like I want to show you these cards. So I'm going to move a camera and put it right here so you can see it. Okay, so I'm giving you the image here of what I'm seeing. All right. So you just have to see this ugly camera, but hopefully you're okay with that. Um, look at how these energies are playing out. So... Think of, you know, everything, people are energetic beings. We have an aura, we have an energy field. Our body is made of energy, vibes. So this bad vibe, <laughs> you're, there's like a bad vibe here that messes with your head or just makes you feel like, start to question yourself, start to doubt yourself. Do I know what I'm doing? Am I smart enough? Do, am I even here? Like, <laughs> what do I do next? It makes you start to like question a lot of things. Um, now these could be people you knew. It's a it's a something where people are connected but to each other by emotions. This situation closes out the cycle with the death, and the ruling is in your favor. The Hierophant. Now this person or group or whoever probably did something that is like wrong, like not right, not accurate. I want to make sure I'm getting the right, uh, um, sorry guys. Okay. Sorry about that. There are like four microphones here. One, two, three, three microphones. I just want to make sure I'm getting the one only. So, okay. So energetically speaking, these people, this group, these whatever, they felt in agreement with each other and felt like you possibly 
did something wrong. However, the energy it's coming in with is their own issues, three of swords, their own heartbreak, their own problem. The Hierophant is a, a larger authority, you know, a big company, human resources, government, it, church, whatever, school. It's a, it's a board of directors. Now, this energy comes in like, no. <laughs> And do you see these two little people down here waiting for the answer? And they're like, it's like a courtroom kind of, but it's supposed to be spiritual. So it's like a spiritual courtroom. So it's like karmic a little bit. This person feels the same way you do and they're on your side. This is the card of emotional support. You feel nine of cups about this. Like, great. I'm so happy about that. Do we even need to continue? Not really, because what does this other person do? What is in the environment as a result? They go around and sort of tell people maybe, you know, this is the energy of victory, but it's also about public, public, uh, public and community and going around getting attention. You want to be the emperor? You want to be a boss? You want to own your power? You want to maybe own your power? You want to take back your position? Okay. New fire. It's exciting. Yeah, somebody lied. So... This person, group, whatever, they lied. New fire, minor arcana. Okay. Oh, look. Th the judgment. So you have your guardian angels watching over you here. You have... Oh, look. The judgment from the devil and the moon. There was something quite toxic here. King of Pentacles is here. It could be any earth sign or anybody that you may know. So don't just take that with a grain of salt. This person held back. Okay. Show us the outcome. Ten of Cups. Look at that. So you're coming into so much happiness. So this affected the way you feel. And it also kind of messed with your head maybe. Or it made you question yourself. Like, do I even know what I'm doing? Yes. Aries. But the curious thing is here, why does this person go six of wands with it? Jupiter and Leo. The expansion. Ah! The tower. So they go Jupiter and Leo. They tell everybody. It closes out this cycle. The death is permanent. You know, it's a permanent change. Maybe somebody's fired. King of the water. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Oh, very powerful, overwhelming feelings. Trying to be patient. There is something in the past here. You may have had a past conflict with this person. Ah. You've put up with something. Nine of Wands. You felt like it's worth it, so you put up with it. This page of pentacles comes in with the pentacle and the moon. Okay. King of the water. P any Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, masculine energy though. So it's like a leader. It's someone of, you know, takes, takes um, action on their feelings. Um, it could be someone with water placements. Now this tower can also be like something goes viral, something goes public, it's on the news. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we have here for Aries Weekly. I just keep getting like little hair, tiny like hairs. I'm sorry guys. I'm just deciding I'm gonna push through the Mercury retrograde. Whatever happens, I'm pushing through. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> 
show us here for Aries week. There it is again. Bad with finances. Gambling. This is not a bad thing. For, open up your heart. Intimacy. Getting closer to someone. Gold digger. They want your money. I don't see those energies in this in the rider weight. Fire sign. Okay, Aries Leo or Sag. Well, under the deck that you don't see. It's either you don't see it or you're not aware of it or who knows. We have the guardian angels. So you are a lost Loved one watches over you date night honeymoon. Okay. Well, let's get one from the Kipper Oracle. It's pretty brutal. Although the Lenormand and the Kipper are the same. So the Lenormand and the Kipper are, these particular decks are by uh, Cyril Marchetti, an Italian artist. Um, but these imagery is coming from the gypsy tarot, which is kind of an older deck. I have that one too. It's just tiny this little cards called the gypsy tarot or the gypsy oracle. Okay. So what's coming in for Aries? Going on a journey maybe? Something with a court. Sudden wealth. Some of you are having a windfall. Although it comes in as emotional. It's a, it has a very large emotional uh, impact on you. Because someone's in agreement with you. You're happy. A lot of happiness. And the information. Maybe the information was incorrect. Maybe it affected your career with the emperor. Maybe you were held back from a position if you want the emperor, it could be like you wanted a promotion. Maybe somebody lied. All right. Well, Aries, this is your weekly message. Thank you for powering through with me with my little glitchy uh, Mercury retrograde things. But I wish you all the best. This is like an incredible week for you, Aries. So I will see you next time. Bye, Aries.